Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if it's your first time here, you are so so welcome. Yeah, this is my African lifestyle, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm going to be taking you guys around. I've been in Atapame for like a week already, and I've been having a lot of fun, lots and lots of fun. And trust me, you guys are going to enjoy this video. Like, oh my god, look at the nature, everything looks so beautiful. Everything is so green and uh, yeah, look at this. I created a snail house. Oh my god. And uh, here we have some cows and we, are, and we are taking them for grazing. They are going to graze and we are behind them. Like this video is jam packed with a lot and uh, trust me, you guys are going to have so much fun watching this. Actually in the city we are losing a lot because here you get to, to i don't know to enjoy everything first class or first hand like everything is so natural the air and uh, we are in the mountains yeah everything is so cool let's not talk about the meal coming from the cows like everything is super super amazing and uh, it was really fun being in atapame actually it was so so fun and i'm i'm still in atapame presently and uh, i'm enjoying my time like i'm enjoying my time here and uh, i will not lie to you guys i feel bad that i will have to leave like soon yeah so i feel very bad but anyways i had fun but you know i have to go back Okay guys, so welcome to another episode of my village shenanigans. As you guys can see, I'm constructing a mini snail house. I came here to the village and I noticed like there were a lot of um, snails around and I was like, what if I constructed... Oh my god, what am I saying? What if I constructed a house for them and uh, see how it goes? Because this thing is so expensive in the market. It's so expensive. So I saw them crying like everywhere and I was like, okay, maybe... I'm just going to get some of them and uh, make like a house for them because um, it's like a big business right now in Togo. It's very expensive in the market. So I decided to do one for myself. So as you guys can see, it's very easy. Um, before I used just the bricks and uh, they were like coming out and I decided to, you know, modify it with like a net because I don't want, I want to trap them. I don't want them to leave. So I decided to use this net. What this net does is that it keeps them together and there is no way they can like move out because the first day I did it, I did it with just the bricks and uh, I used something to cover the top but they were like going. So I decided to bring, the, bring in the net, what I have right here and uh, since then none was able to escape and uh, I've noticed that they like eating things like, um, I don't know, vegetables like cucumbers and um fruit like popo or i don't know papaya anyone <laughs> i don't know how you call it they like like soft vegetables tomatoes cucumbers and i don't know very um lettuce they eat it a lot and they eat a lot of papaya as well and uh, i'm so happy i just want to see how it turns out so before i leave i'm going to keep some i'm going to like look for somebody who will be taking care of them and uh, I want to see the result in six months. I wish I was going to be here to see how it goes but when I leave I will come back and uh, I will see how it goes and if it works well I'm going to like enlarge the house and this is going to turn into a business because this thing is pretty much expensive in the market so yeah thank you guys.
okay guys i hope you guys enjoyed my cine farm like i'm so happy about it and uh, i will just go ahead and give you guys like a quick tour and show you guys what ashapame looks like from the mountain i'm going to give you guys like the mountain view and trust me you guys are going to enjoy every single bit of it look at the houses and uh, the mountains the green nature everything looks super super awesome and anybody who is from this place is going to like be, to be like oh my god this is my home and uh, i hope um bringing this city to you guys puts like a smile on somebody's face because like if i also had somebody doing this in my home in cameroon i'll be super super happy so thank you guys so much